to a tea ceremony place and then into uh, this area there is a toilet and then that's I indicated coming down and here don't go <laughs> but this way please <laughs> okay <laughs> Muy fresco aire, muy bonito. Muy lindo aquí. In Kyoto only there are 17 designated places. Temple, castle, shrines. Okay, Nijo Castle, I haven't mentioned, but it is a UNESCO designated uh, castle. So you will visit two places today. All the Imperial Palace, no UNESCO designation. No UNESCO designation. So two places already. Out of 17 designated places in Kyoto, in Nara there are eight places. Miren el detalle de esto. Muy bonito. So, welcome. <laughs> Mira los verdes, qué hermoso se ve el... Es como musgo. Uh, can we make a short stop in front of, of a bell tower? Of course. Can I get? Uh, the bell and uh, and after water. that we will enter, oh. uh, after I ticket, just a short uh, information, brief information about the bell tower. Uh, Buddhism came to Japan in the 6th century, but formulated by historical person Gautama Buddha in north part of India, today border between Nepal and India. Okay, uh, Gautama Buddha was a prince, actually, of a small kingdom. Five centuries before Jesus Christ was born. Okay, historical person, 99% uh, <laughs> was true, <laughs> this person existed. Anyway, uh, the goal for Buddhists is to be enlightened by awakening to the truth. Many people think there is a God like uh, uh, Christianity or uh, Islam, but there is no God in Buddhism. Uh, Buddhists, I mean lay Buddhists like me, are supposed to be enlightened and then call himself Buddha, okay? So you can call yourself Buddha if you are enlightened, but it's a very difficult way. Uh, enlightened means you are no longer suffering from any attachment. People want to have something, you know, to that daily necessities and so on. I want to eat something, I want to have a luxury life, or I want to buy new car. Lot of attachment, even hair is attachment. Therefore, Japanese monks shave the hair. No attachment, only wear plain clothes, no jewelries, no watches, nothing. And that is enlightened status. And now I come to this <laughs> bell. They ring the bell. 108 times at the end of the year. Why 108? 108 signifies we human beings have 108 worldly desires. And the Buddhists usually have rosaries. This is very simplified one. Buddhist monk have rosary with 108 beads. When he recites the sutra, he counts one by one. 108 worldly desire he forget. Then he is no longer suffering. He is nothing, he has nothing to be afraid of. Okay, Nibarna, it is called Nibarna status, you can enter. At the end of the year, why they ring the bell? Uh, they ring the bell, we listen, and one by one they cancel this kind of worldly desire. When New Year starts, we all forget 108 desires. Clean our mind, very fresh, we are enlightened. We go into New Year with fresh mind. That is a meaning. 
every tempo toward the end of the year, they ring the bell. Okay? Hi. Shall we go? <laughs>